before Summer Walker would become one of the hottest new R&B acts, before she would collab with artists like Party Next Door, A Boogie, Black, Bryson Tiller, Usher, Janae Aiko, and Drake. Now apparently she even inspired Aubrey to write some new songs. Before Summer would clock in over 335,000 followers on Twitter, close to half a million subscribers on YouTube, and more than 1.2 million followers on Instagram at the time of this recording. Summer Walker is quickly becoming one of the most notable new artists in R&B with her signature sound. And with the success of her new album over it, well, she's proving that she'll be around to stay. But before all the fame, well, Summer, she was actually posting covers onto YouTube, just hoping to get discovered. That is, until Summer Walker was discovered accidentally by a record label exec who has the same name as her. <laughs> yeah, sometimes Googling yourself, it can lead to your next signee. But we'll get into that a little later in this video. You had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCredden and I'll be your host walking through the life and career of Summer Walker prior to fame. Here for you of course and before they're famous. Now we've recently covered other singers including Lizzo and LMA, so check those out later. As always, you guys gotta let us know who's next in the comments down below. But before we start, I got a little trivia question for you guys. Now Summer Walker, uh, she's got a little bit of a pre-show ritual. If you can guess what it is, well I owe you a follow over on Instagram or Twitter. Place your guesses in the comments down below. Now I'll see you guys after the intro. The old one, cause I missed it. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Summer Marjani Walker was born on April 11th, 1996 in Atlanta, Georgia. Now Summer, she grew up in a big family and she was close with her cousins, living with them for the early years of her life. Now her father is from London, talking about England, and her mother is American, but the two they actually divorced. Now Summer, she began to cut herself off from most of the people around her and she spent a lot of her time alone. Now Summer was always an introspective person who liked to keep to herself. The music was always an influence on her life and she felt like she could confide in the music rather than people. She later added, I love music with all my heart. I just have to do it. I actually don't have a choice. It's like how I have to breathe. That's my drug. I'm addicted to it. Summer's mother said in an interview, at times she just kind of hibernates and internalizes quite a bit. Sometimes when she really has deep thoughts and things on her mind, well, she goes and sits and gets that guitar out and she just sits and plays, and that's how she expresses herself. Early on, Summer, she was influenced by iconic artists such as Jimi Hendrix, Erica Badu, and Amy Winehouse. Now, Summer, she played guitar and piano, and she would sing in her bathroom, practicing her skills. But it wasn't just to let her thoughts get out to the world. She told Billboard that she also started singing because she wanted to make money, live comfortably, and felt that making music, well, it could bring her those dollars. One day, she decided to post her work online. Now Summer, she started posting videos onto Vine and opened her YouTube channel in May of 2013 under the name 96 Tsunami. I wonder if I can even say that here on YouTube. And the very same day she opened her channel, she posted her first ever cover of El Varner's I Don't Care. Now even back then, she had an incredible voice and it's easy to tell that this girl, she was clearly a star. Now the description of the video, it read Project 18, so I'm guessing she actually had made 17 videos on iMovie prior to that release. Now the original song, it now has close to 100,000 views on YouTube. In summer, she was just 17 years old at the time. I got a funny feeling a lot of them views they came after summer blew up. People are always going back looking at your first video. I swear, that's kind of why I built this channel. Now Summer, she continued dropping the occasional cover and a year later, her cover of Persian Rugs, it ended up gaining more than 73,000 views. But it was actually her cover in 2017 of Drake's Fake Love, mashed up with Ray Schremer's Black Beetle, Beyonce's Yes, and Genuine's Pony. And in that video, she sings alongside two guitarists, and the video, well, it gained her a lot of buzz. Currently, it's sitting at over 400,000 views. I got fake people saying fake love to me straight up to my face. In 
2018 summer, she moved over to posting covers onto Instagram and started gaining a following from her unique vocal abilities combined with her guitar playing. This Dre cover had more than 1 million views at the time it was posted. It's actually crazy how she was so inspired by Drake and now he's hopping on her songs and sliding into her DMs. It's like me hanging out at a bar with Jim Carrey, which actually happened. Yeah guys, your dreams can't come true. But before Summer would catch her big break, well she was actually apparently working in a strip club. And uh, well, she still practices as a form of therapy. It's so fun. It's like, to me, it's like soothing. You just, when you get home, you just put on your music and mm -hmm. like a candle and you just get to like, go in the air and stuff. What? Now her life goal is to... I literally just want to make soap. Are you saying the word soap? Soap. That you used to mm -hmm. wash your skin or dishes? Your skin. <laughs> but Summer's big break came when her covers were discovered by someone with, get this, the exact same name as her. Yeah. Another Summer Walker, she was engaging in a little bit of self-indulgence and she was Googling herself. Then she came across a woman with the exact same name as her. And this Summer Walker, well, she just so happened to have a beautiful voice. Now the original Summer Walker, or the agent, well, she worked at a record label called LVRN. And at the time, she saw Summer's talent and wanted to work with her immediately. So she reached out. Thinking about all this, I know a lot of stars, when they Google themselves, they find me. But there actually exists another Michael McCrudd. He is a professional footballer out in the UK. And I'd love him to reach out to me. Maybe we can play some footy. But yeah, I'd probably just go meet him at a bar as well. Justice Baden, who is the co-founder of LVRN, says that when he first came across Summer's covers on Instagram, that Summer, well, she was still working at a strip club. When I first started following her on Instagram, she was working at the strip club, and the next video would be her playing the acoustic guitar. That's literally two different people that aren't supposed to exist in one. She's just a constant push and pull of, like, her trying to find herself. Justice saw Summer's talent and knew that she had the potential to become something great. Now Summer explains that she was invited to the studio one night by her friend. This girl <laughs> brought me to the studio okay. and got me signed, so. Damn, the way she makes it look so easy. Now, as you can tell, Summer, she didn't like to do interviews, but however, it happened. Now, Summer, she signed with LVRN and the label also helped launch the careers of Dram and Black. So, well, their track record was good. Now, Summer, she began recording her debut project, Last Day of Summer, in her bedroom in 2017, where she wrote, recorded, and produced the record herself. Now, she'd been working on the record for about a year prior to its release, but once she signed with the label, well, they helped her take things to a whole nother level. You take it to a whole She dropped the acoustic single, Session 32, and people began to get curious about the Atlanta singer, who seemed to have a sound different than most of the music that was popular at the time. Now, she also dropped a music video to her single, Girls Need Love, later that summer. Now, Drake, he saw Summer's video on a bowling alley monitor, which seems fitting because the music video took place at a roller rink. You know, same type of atmosphere. And so Drake, well, he naturally slid into her DMs and told her he liked her music. So after some hesitation, well, she asked if he wanted to hop on her song. And he said, yes. My God. I saw your video on a bowling alley monitor. Thought it was cool. And then Justice made me ask him. And he said, yes. On February 27, 2019, the remix to Girls Need Love was released with a brand new verse from Drizzy Drake. And the song, it ended up charting at number 37 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart becoming her first entry. The song built up a lot of hype for her next release and fans, they couldn't wait to hear what the singer had to say next. And fans, they weren't disappointed when she released her album Over It with features from some of the biggest names in music. I chose the album title Over It because that is the perfect way to describe how I feel about life right now. Now Summer says that she's a little bit nervous when it comes to speaking in public, but when she gets on stage, all of her nerves go away and she just takes it all out on the stage. I'm guessing that's some experience from the strip club. I'm just, just guessing. Now currently she is dating super producer London on the track, and not only do they make hit records together, but they also go on cute dates after the studio. They say a couple who works together either stays together like Jim and Pam, or they end up wanting to kill each other. 
So wish me and Kara a whole lot of luck. Hopefully the relationship, well, it looks more like the former. Now in terms of her pre-performance ritual. I fart. <laughs> <laughs> My backstage rituals is flatulent. That's pretty much what I do here before this show. You know, it's a lot of me stressing myself out. You don't want stuff going the other way. No sharding on camera. It's not a good look. It's not good for the studio. Anyway, as for what's next, well, it seems like she's going to be calling it quits. Hopefully retirement. Retirement. Yeah. You tired? Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> Already. But we hope that she's just joking because I know there is a lot more to go for summer. As for the rest of the story, well, I guess we're just going to wrap this one up here because this, of course, is before they're famous. My name is Mike McCrad and we make all sorts of celebrity bios here for you on this channel. Be sure to let us know who's next in the comments down below. Summer Walker, if you're watching this video, why don't you slide into my DMs? I'm just like Greg, just a whole lot whiter, a way less talented, and uh, but just as popular in Toronto at like one bar when Jim Carrey stands me up and the soccer player. Even Nelk stood me up. God damn it. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just talking shit. See you guys in another video. Boom!